Hello, Dobby here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the pan crop in Sony Vegas. Uh, I was going to do the pan crop and the mask in one tutorial, but it was getting to look a bit lengthy, so uh, I'll do them separately. Okay, I'll bring in clip one from the project media again. I moved all these tabs around. I forgot to say you can just move them around, you can put them in whatever order you fancy, or if you go to uh, view. Uh, you, you can save different layouts, say if you've got two people working in Vegas and you like a different layout to someone else then uh, you can just save it as it is and call it your name or whatever and then you can just take off your trimmer and stuff, see I took the trimmer off because you don't use it because you can just trim your clip down in the timeline uh, okay, I'm turning on the pan crop let's clip this down a bit, there you go uh, to get to the pan crop you either hit this little button here which is event pan slash crop or just right click and go to video event pan crop. Uh, your pan crop, uh, I'll, I'll make sure that you can see this window up here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, the big square with the F in it basically shows what of the video you're going to see. So you can just drag this, you can move it around. As you can see, it will just move around. And if you keyframe this, say after a second, you want it to zoom in at the metals. Uh, you can make this smaller but as you can see by just dragging the corner all these different wide screens and all sorts come up so if uh, I just undo that sec what you want to do is just hold control and shift and this keeps the proportion the same so you can just slide it in and you don't have any random wide screens going on so then if I do that and then after a second I double click it go back to the center and just get it back to where it was before. My mouse isn't working. There you go. So now, if you play this through, it'll just zoom in at the middle and zoom back out. Uh, it just basically shows what area of the screen you want to look at. So, in the same way you zoom in, you can zoom out. Uh, another thing that people like to do in the pan crop is a screen shake. Now, what you want to do for this is just zoom it in slightly because if you don't zoom it in then when you rotate it uh, you get these black edges around your video so you don't want to do that just double click anything and it resets back to normal or if you right click and go to restore it will reset completely back to where it was uh, so what you want to do is just zoom in slightly and then just zoom in the same way you can zoom in on your big timeline you can zoom in your little clip timeline and then just insert keyframes and each keyframe just slightly move this around oh if it's moving like in blocks then what you want to do is turn this button off the snapping and then when this is off you you can move it freely around so all you do is just keyframe it I say every three and then you can also rotate it just at the top and then as you can see as you do this the screen will just shake around People like to do that after a shot's gone off or something and they've just got a high multi. Just sync with the music. If you want a more violent shake then obviously move it around a bit more or rotate it a bit more. Otherwise I just generally have lighter shakes so you can still see what's happening on the screen. Uh, and that's pretty much pan crop. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll do a mask and tutorial later today.